U.S. Pacific fleets, Pearl Harbor events leading up. So before the attack on Pearl Harbor, Japan had its sights on other things. In 1931, Japan wanted, took control of Manchuria. So actually, Japan wanted to invade as much as Southeast Asia and took its interests on China. So they started invading parts of China, like Manchuria, which today is a chunk of land that lies between Russia and China. From there, Japan began its advance into China, intending to take as much as Southeast Asia as possible. So Western nations, such as the United States, the United Kingdom, and Netherlands, disagreed with Japan's attack, so they refused to trade with them anymore, cutting off Japan's supply of oil and other resources. So the Western nations threw oil embargoes, and they stopped selling those natural resources and oil to Japan, because they didn't like what Japan was doing. Pearl Harbor, December 7, 1941. At first, Japan thought they would be able to take oil and other resources from other Asian countries, but that soon proved to be too big of a task. They knew that the United States had set up a naval base in Hawaii to monitor the war activity in the Pacific Ocean, which made further invasions difficult for Japan. This, this is a big reason they launched the attack on Pearl Harbor. For months before the bombing, Japanese troops were on a very secretive plan to take out the naval base at Pearl Harbor. Finally, on December 7, 1941, approximately 181 fighter planes flew over Oahu and began their attack. 21 ships in the U.S. naval base we were destroyed, and within a couple, a couple of hours, more than 2,400 people were killed. So here's how the attack worked. So first, they were working as it on a secret. Um, they be, they, so Hawaii was expecting B-17 bomber planes for a test from California. And then two officers were reporting to a Lydians. And one of the officers was looking at the radar system and saying some planes were coming over to the Lydians, except the mistake he made that he didn't tell how many planes were coming. Because B-17 bombers only had a few planes, and this was over 180. So, so then, so then the Lydian told the officer that it's only the B-17, but it actually was an attack. And the radios confirmed it. This is no test. Pearl Harbor is being bombed. Now let's come over to the timeline. On September 18, 1931, Japan invaded Manchuria. September 27, 1940, Japan signs a tripartite pact with Germany and Italy, forming the Axis Allies. So the tripartite pact is so that the three countries agreed to work together and, and help each other in politics and war, and they became allies. But in World War One, Japan was actually with America and all the Western nations. So after they started trying to invade Southeast Asia, the Western nations and Japan got separated. So their connections were stressful. Spring 1941, Japanese crews start training for special tactics needed in Pearl Harbor attack. September 22nd, 1941, Japan invades French Indochina. So French Indochina is what's now Vietnam, Philippines, and I think Cambodia. Cambodia, yeah, Cambodia. 
and the U.S. starts starts throwing oil embargoes on Japan. November 26, 1941, Japanese attack force gets underway to Pearl Harbor. November 27, 1941, the U.S. War Department issues its war warning to American military bases in the Pacific. December 1, 1941, Japanese military leaders make the official decision to attack Pearl Harbor. December 17, 1941, before 4.30 a.m., a Japanese submarine is spotted near Pearl Harbor. 6.15 a.m., the first attack waves leave the Japanese aircraft carriers. 6.30 a.m., the Japanese submarine is sunk by USS Ward. 7.02 a.m. Radar operators spot a blip of approaching aircraft off the northern tip of Oahu. So, so they were they were thinking these were the B-17s from California, except they were the Japanese. 7.55 a.m. First wave of the Japanese attack hits Pearl Harbor. December 8, 1941. The U.S. declares war on So here, the main target of the Japanese were to be the aircraft carriers. However, since all three U.S. aircraft carriers were out to sea, the Japanese focused on the battleships. There were eight battleships on, at Pearl Harbor that day, which included all the battleships of the U.S. Pacific Fleet, except for one, the Colorado. Seven of the U.S. battleships were lined up in Battleship Row. During the attack, the Nevada left its berth at Battleship Row and tried to make it to the harbor entrance. After being repeatedly attacked on its way, the Nevada, Nevada beached itself. The Arizona exploded when a bomb reached its forward magazine and the ammunition was 1,177 U.S. servicemen died on board. After being torpedoed, the Oklahoma listed itself so badly it turned upside down. To aid their airplanes, the Japanese sent out five midget subs to help target the battleship. The Americans sunk four of the midget subs and captured the fifth. All eight U.S. battleships were either damaged or sunk or damaged during the attack. Amazingly, all but two, the Arizona and Oklahoma, were eventually able to return to active duty. So these are all the battleships. USS Nevada, USS Arizona, USS West Virginia, USS Tennessee, USS Oklahoma, USS California, USS Maryland, USS Pennsylvania, and USS West Coast. So all those ships, survived except for Arizona and Oklahoma. <coughs> so Arizona got the bomb and it unfortunately fortunately it just landed in the ammunition room where the bombs there blasted along with the bomb the Japanese dropped. And then the Oklahoma turned upside down. So it couldn't be but the water the, the other ships sank in, it was pretty shallow, so they were able to repair. American losses at Pearl Harbor. 2,403 Americans killed, including 68 civilians. 1,178 American soldiers killed and wounded, including 68 civilians. 21 ships of the Pacific Fleet sunk or damaged. 188 aircraft destroyed, 159 aircraft damaged. So the attack on Pearl Harbor had led to the destruction of two majors, the base Hiroshima and Nagasaki, a powerful turning point in J Japanese world history. Now let's move on to the general facts on the USS Arizona. On December 7, 1941, the Japanese dropped bombs on the USS Arizona. Unfortunately, <coughs> the bombs landed.
landed in the animation and it set the ship on fire. So this is basically how thick the ship was. And this is the ship before the bomb, which is here. Yeah. President's Wolf. Yeah, the memorial was this. President Rolla is the is Eisenhower approved to the construction of a monument, and it was dedicated on Memorial Day, May 30th, 1962. So this is the Arizona Memorial. So it was built on top of what was left of the ship after it was bombed. So if you can see the light trace of the ship, this is what it was underwater, and then it was still standing, but but it still sinks. So the bodies still remain underwater, and the memorial rose on top of the ship. What's left? So the USS Arizona remains where it sank in Pearl Harbor as a memorial to the soldiers who lost their lives. So the soldiers still remain down there, but but it's typically a grave to all the soldiers. And it, inside it has all the names of the soldiers who fought there.